A year has passed since the Chips and Science Act was signed into law by President Joe Biden. It came as part of an effort to boost semiconductor manufacturing here in the U.S. Fox 12's Drew Marine explains how this has impacted the local tech industry and what work officials believe still needs to be done. They're tiny, but have a big impact on our daily lives. Semiconductors are made right here in Oregon, home of the so-called Silicon Forest. We have always been the leaders in technology. You basically can't do anything in semiconductors in America without technology that comes out of Washington County. And thanks to the Chips and Science Act signed into law by President Biden last August, companies like Analog Devices and Beaverton have reaped the benefits. They have a $1 billion expansion in the works thanks to investment tax credits from the Chips and Science Act. That is super important for us because that's something that's really going to happen over the next few months. And as that goes into place, that's really big for all the semiconductor companies. The grants that we will potentially get from the CHIPS Act will also benefit us, but it may not be as immediate. The corporate vice president of fab operations for analog devices, Fred Bailey, says this expansion allows them to be a reliable local supply chain for their customers after a few rocky years when some projects were expected to take a year or more to finish. We saw that there were definitely issues in the semiconductor supply chain. So having this capability with our hybrid manufacturing and having this increased capacity, this will allow us to meet customer de demand very quickly um, and avoid situations like we had during the COVID issue. To remain competitive, State Representative Janelle Bynum says there's more work that can be done to increase the workforce by preparing students before they graduate and ensure housing for those workers. We need roads, we need water infrastructure, we needed broadband. That was the unfinished business that I think that Senate Bill 4 left us with, and that's what we'll continue to work on. Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.